We're learning to play a capriccio, which is the 3B exercise from the Trinity Grade 1 syllabus. Uh, let's just break it into two halves, but we're going to try and work hands together as quickly as possible uh, with this one, rather than doing a load of separate hands. Let's really get this together. So uh, just taking the first two bars plus a note, in the right hand, we've got this, E and a G. So now normally when you see E and a G, like that, you'd probably naturally go one and three, but we're going to go one and two because the next chord will be this. Okay, so you do that, you play that chord again, then let go, move your thumb, but your third finger stays where it is, so you get that. Then you go two and four, but B flat, and then back. So we've got so one, two, three, four, rest. So that's the first thing to get right, so you go a one, so moderately loud, one, two, three, four, rest, repeat. So have you got that right fingering there? So one and two, one and three, two and four, one and three. One and two, move the thumb, one and three, two and four, one and three. Notice the only thing, although you're changing fingers, the only movement is the thumb coming onto the F there. See that? But don't move anything else, you know, it's just one and two to one and three. So it goes one, two, three, four, rest, getting louder. Okay. Now in the left hand, you've got the right hand chord first of all, and then the left hand goes C, B, C, G. So the usual little challenge, a held chord, but with staccato notes. Often when you've got something held in one hand, it will want you to play the other hand like you need to play smoothly but you need the left hand to go just takes a, just a little bit of thought and you'll get it so moderately loud bum, 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 bum. so the final speed will be a bit more of something like that okay now after that so you do that now this time when you play the G release the right which we weren't doing before Repeat the chord, short, then the next chord, short, then the next chord, and then just down one. And could you just put in your little finger there an F to go with it? So we're stopping on the beginning of the third bar. Right, let me show you all that again. So you got that, first of all. Remember to release the right, then one. Getting louder. Okay, and let's, let's do a slightly faster one. there my left hand that G was held for too long because if you look at the music it's only held for two so let's see if we can bring it off after well halfway through the bar so you'll get this and off now I've just been aware of where that comes and off so lots of work on that first of all before we worry about the last bit um, and then that'll be in the next video